Hey, good morning, everybody. I just got back from my run with Tattoo. We're sitting in our backyard and just kind of having a moment. I won't put my glasses on. Um, so I just want to see how everyone's doing. And I want to talk a little bit about being active. I was thinking about, a lot of times I post pictures of my run and I feel like sometimes that's not super relatable, although that's, that's what I love, right? But there's some reasons that I love it. It's not just because uh, just because of the running part. That's a big part of it. It's something that kind of gets me in a Zen mode. And sometimes I listen to podcasts, um, self-development. Uh, I could pick just music. I've been really, really into Alicia Keys lately. I listened to a podcast about her book with Brene Brown. I think I posted it. Um, and it's just about being vulnerable and being okay, learning from the lessons in our life. Um, so I digress, right? That's just about me running. But it's a point of staying active. As, as we mature, right, which is what this group is about, we, we want to thrive at any age, but especially as we enter our encore lives, we want to thrive. And staying active, um, the number one thing is, right, it helps prevent things from happening in our body that we don't want to happen. It can be deterrence for cancer, which you know is super near and dear to my heart. I had bone cancer in my legs, and not that running is going to fix that, but uh, staying active in general, uh, keeping, keeping the blood flowing, keeping your ligaments lubricated. Um, I try and, and live a very alkaline life. If you have an acidic life, that's um, where disease likes to grow. And as you exercise, it kind of is a body cleanser. So it can stave off that, diabetes, heart disease. Those are all things, especially as us women, right? We have to think about those things. Heart disease is the number one thing that can uh, come into a woman's life not wanted. Stroke, um, all those different things. So staying active is a preventative thing. And you know, that is what I'm huge on. You know, invest now, don't pay later to stay to stay healthy and don't get healthy through surgeries and medicines and things like that. Just just invest in yourself now. Uh, the other thing is it keeps up our mobility, right? There have been a couple of times, so I'm going to be 52, um, that I've gone back to Buffalo and I've seen some friends from high school that were very, very active and their lifestyles are very different now. They... Uh, their body size may have changed, which ours all do, so that is that is never a cross that we should uh, criticize for somebody, but it's their mobility, right? They maybe can't get up and down stairs as much, their backs hurt, this and that. Um, mobility comes from being mobile, right? You gotta get out there and you gotta move. And certainly an injury could come from it, so then supplement with somebody, something else. I, I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, so I'm not telling you to forget that you've hurt yourself and, and go out and hurt yourself worse. What I'm just saying is stay active. Your body will seize up, your ligaments will seize up, your, jo your joints, your muscles, they won't be as lubricated, and you will pay the price. And someday, when those grandbabies come or you retire, you're going to be in a limited state, and that is not how you want to be. Um, I want to be that mom that gets to go to all of the college, high school events actively, uh, support them in their sports, maybe play a little bit with them. But I can't wait for the grandbabies, right? That's going to be amazing. And as I sit here now, I think that's going to be like super long time. But I never thought Hayden would be in 10th grade, and he is. So I would imagine these next 10 years will bring lots of surprises and bonuses and uh, who knows. But um, I just wanted to say be mobile, right? Be mobile, stay active. Don't let some of those diseases come because you didn't want to go for a walk or, you know, grab your husband's hand and, and just kind of go down. Well, as for us, the canal, just kind of enjoy nature, just do something. Um, doing the laundry certainly helps taking care of the house helps, but you got to give a bonus to your body, right? Do something above and beyond. So maybe make that start today or just maybe share with us what did you do today? That's it. Um, I'm going to post in my link a group that we have 
and it's just kind of all focused on taking care of ourselves as we're getting into our encore lives and making sure that we stay thriving. So you'll probably see this video in there too, but I just wanted to share it with everyone and invite you into that group, right? Because that's what we focus on. So I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Peace out. Bye-bye.